sir. Today, guys, we're finally finishing up the full intake install. So I've got a Jet Performance throttle body. We're gonna take the old factory one out and see what this does for us. I was very pleased with that mass airflow sensor that Jet Performance sent out, and I'm hoping to be very pleased with this throttle body. So let me go ahead and get this unboxed and we'll set it up on the bench. I'll show it to you. I'll take the other one off and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. This throttle body is a direct replacement for your factory. The air inlet is supposed to allow for more air and better throttle response. What are the possible gains from this throttle body? Well, they say eight to 10 horsepower and eight to 10 torque. They also claim you could possibly get one to three miles per gallon better. So let's get this thing unboxed installed on the truck and we're gonna drive it around and test it out. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So here it is. And then you've got bubble wrap. And it says, warning, you must do a throttle body relearn. So you must disconnect the negative side of the battery. So that's what we're gonna do. They give you a nice little warning. So let's go ahead and finish getting this unboxed. All right, well, I put it in a plastic bag. Let's open it up. And here is your high performance, brand new throttle body. So it looks pretty good. Here's the new electronics on the side that's supposed to be a lot more efficient and give you some more power. You see these nice ridges inside that's supposed to get more airflow into the motor. Let's get the other one off the truck and look at them side by side on the bench. I'm gonna start by going ahead and disconnecting the battery. So that's a 10 millimeter. Set you some paper or cardboard just to make sure that that doesn't accidentally get connected during the process. I'm gonna disconnect the PCV hose. So I'm gonna push that in and just pop that loose. Move that out of the way. Now I'm gonna disconnect this tube from the throttle body. I'm gonna give myself some more room, so I went ahead and just took the tube out. I'm gonna set it aside. To get this throttle body off, let's go ahead and disconnect this connection on the side. All right, guys, well, that really sucks. This gray piece right here broke on me when I was trying to slide it back to disconnect this clip. So these, some of these clips on these vehicles are just very frustrating. So all I did was try to slide it back and now I've got pieces. So now it just pops right off, which it is, it does seem pretty secure, but it does not have the clip anymore. So I may try to put a tie wrap or something to hold that on to make sure it doesn't come loose, but be very careful when you're taking this loose, not to try to break this little gray piece. So right now we got it disconnected, but let's go ahead and move on. Just know that that's definitely annoying. All right, now that I've said all the bad words I needed to say off camera, let's go ahead and start moving on. We've got a 10 millimeter and we're going to take each bolt off. There's one. Those clips are just very, <laughs> very annoying. So it's hard to get over that. You hate breaking things on your truck, but you know, it happens. When you actually work on your trucks, you, you end up breaking things here and there, and that's just how it goes. All right, last one. All right, there we go. Throttle body is off. Before we look at a side-by-side -side comparison, I wanna check this gasket out. And honestly, I was thinking about replacing it because I usually, with best practices, always replace gaskets, but this thing is protruding still and it's not flat. So I don't really know that it's necessary to replace this guy right now. It seems fine and the truck's not that old. So, you know, that could be the reason, but it still looks like this gasket's got plenty of life left in it. 
All right, I've got these side by side on the bench, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of them. So this one, you can tell, is definitely a lot cleaner because it's brand new. And then this one is just a little dirty. It's not crazy or anything like that. It's only about three years old and it's just really not that dirty. The biggest comparison I can show you is how smooth this is inside. And then this one's kind of got like those ridges inside in order to allow for more airflow. And on the side, this one is supposed to be tuned for better performance. So time will tell, we're gonna put that on and drive it around and see if it actually does make a difference. So there they are side by side, basically look about the same. So we're gonna find out if it's worth it. Let me show you this clip that broke real quick. So this is supposed to go on top of there, right there in order to fixate it and keep it secure, but this is broken now. So this little gray piece snapped on me, like I said, just something I'm gonna have to deal with now. Things break. All right, guys, let's install the new throttle body. So after searching all over the internet, it looks like this guy is gonna be 89 inch pounds. So don't wanna over tighten it, don't wanna under tighten it. Okay, it's time to take this intake tube, put that back on. So I'm gonna line that back up. We're gonna take that and slide it back onto the new throttle body. Make sure you get it all the way on there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Give it a nice pull and make sure that everything is secure. And now let's move on to plugging this clip in. So now you would just take this clip and normally slide it back on. And then you would take that gray piece that broke on me and you would clip it back in. But we don't have that option anymore. Honestly, with this new connection, I was gonna put some tape around here, something to keep it secure, but it's pretty daggum snug. So I think it's gonna be fine to ride like that. Go ahead and connect your PCV hose. Then I'm gonna also connect the mass airflow sensor plug. So let's click that in and then push that red tab straight that way. So everything looks like it's pretty good lined back up and secure. So we should be good to climb in the truck, crank it up. We got to do a relearn. Let me show you what you need to do. We're going to go ahead and crank the truck, let it run for three minutes, and then we're going to shut it off. Then we're going to crank it up again, let it run for another three minutes, let it relearn that new throttle body. All right, here we go. So far so good, there's no engine lights, so that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and wait that three minutes. Some people say the idle might be a little higher than normal, but this seems to be about what it normally is. So you can see we don't have any engine lights coming on yet, so that's good. The idle seems to be about what it normally is. I'm just gonna let it sit here and idle and continue relearning that new throttle body. I'm not noticing any type of rough idling or anything like that, so that's good. All right, I actually let it run for about four minutes, so let me go ahead and turn it off. And now let's crank it up, let it run for another three or four minutes. We still don't have any engine lights or anything like that, so that is a good thing. So I'm gonna wait this three minutes out and then we'll take it for a test drive. While I let it idle, I wanna go ahead and kinda of check around, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that, which of course you're getting air from the fan and that's kinda of gonna be a little deceiving. You're gonna feel a little bit of air, but just kinda of make sure you don't feel anything in the gaps and everything seems fine. So let's climb in the truck, take it for a test drive. All right, I'm getting it up to speed. I'm not feeling any type of weird things going on in the truck it seems about normal i don't believe it's a good idea to just jump in the truck and just floor it i kind of want to drive around kind of normal speeds 
give it some time to pick up and learn that new throttle body. All right, let's give this thing some gas. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. So I think we've finally got a full, complete intake system. It's a premium price, but you gotta pay for power and you gotta pay for performance. Okay guys, I'm going to uh, probably definitely lose gas mileage because this is pretty fun. Even getting on it, there's no engine lights, so that is good. So that is, we don't want that. Well, having my child now, I'm sometimes running a little late for work. I'm pretty sure I won't be having to worry about being late anymore. Get up and go, baby. That Borla attack, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it is uh, attacking. Okay, we're home. <laughs> this thing gets up and goes. Pretty premium price, but this thing is fully upgraded now, and it's pretty good. Well, I'm very happy that I've got a full, complete upgraded intake system now. I feel like jet performance and cold air induction should team up and maybe come up with a package deal. This truck has come alive and gas mileage, I, <laughs> it's probably gonna be shot. I'll definitely try to baby it a little bit and see if maybe I get some gas mileage gains out of it. That way I can let you guys know. I appreciate y'all watching this. I'm pretty happy with this throttle body and I'm pretty happy with jet performance. So make sure you check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below on how you can get your hands on one of these throttle bodies. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Until next time, we'll see y'all.